translated. It shows the, we think, because none of us have seen it, except members of the House, it shows the use of raw intelligence data for political purposes. Congress should have known about that before it gave the people who abused this authority more authority. FISA is the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. Yes, and guess what this is all about? Spying on Americans and using that material to embarrass, humiliate, or manipulate the Americans who were spied on. Spying on Americans without suspicion and without probable cause, but on the basis of a, a city block or an area code or a zip code or a, or a, a telephone number. So the, we just heard Democrats and, and some others are complaining uh, that if you release this to the public, then all of our sources and methods are going to get out there. Can okay, that be true? so uh, yes and no. The this is a four-page summary of raw intelligence data. Raw intelligence data is the information that the spy agencies actually collect, like a like a phone call or a text message or a series of these. When the Republicans prepared this, it was written by three members of the committee and Republican staff members and it became apparent it was going to be released, the Democrats prepared their summary of the same raw intelligence data. Surprise, surprise, they come to opposite conclusions. So you have 10 pair of eyes, Republican eyes, looking at the same data, 10 pair of Democratic eyes looking at the same data. They come to radically different conclusions. The committee votes only to release the Republican version. I say, release the data. You can white out the names of the people who gave you this information. Don't release the names of your sources, but let the American people decide for themselves who broke the law, who knew about it, and who looked the other way. The Department of Justice has said, oh, you cannot release this stuff. This is dangerous stuff. And then it turns out the Department of Justice, at the time it made that statement, hadn't seen it. Hmm. And this is where it gets a little dicey. In response to that revelation, that the Department of Justice hadn't seen it, the director of the FBI, Sunday afternoon, went to the House Intelligence Committee vault in the bowels of the Capitol building and read this four-page memo and looked at the data from which it came. And what did he do 12 hours later? Fired his deputy, Andrew McCabe. Yeah. They must have seen something there. This must have been the last straw with him with respect to McCabe, and they'd worked together for a long time. Well, and, and Andrew McCabe has been implicated in the Peter Strzok, Lisa, Lisa Page memos about the group that was getting together to talk about what horrors uh, would, be, would befall the nation if Donald Trump were elected president. Right. Also implicated in the decision to exonerate Mrs. Clinton on her email scandal. So the bottom line, this is the, this is the tip of, I don't want to say iceberg, but it is it is the beginning of a lot of government misbehavior. And we well, have and, the right to know about it. And members of Congress who have seen this memo have said that this there is stuff in there that's worse than Watergate. I hope they're not exaggerating, because if they are, they're going to have egg on their face. But I do believe the American public has the right to see it. I ardently wish Congress had seen it before it voted to expand domestic spying powers on all of us. Fascinating. Yes. Um, we're going to be watching, and we'll see whether the president decides to, you know, allow if, this release. If the president allows the release, we will probably see this on Monday of next week. Hmm. Judge Andrew Napolitano, our chief judicial analyst. Thank you. Uh, pleasure, John. Julie.